Hey guys, it's Christina Bates here coming to you live from Madrid. I'm streaming from my terraza here. Um, happy Father's Day to those fathers back home in the States. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful Sunday here. It is actually really, really hot. Um, the summer has kicked in here. It's uh, ranging in the 40 degrees uh, Celsius, 100 degrees range right now. So we are dying, but there are pools and great cold drinks. And luckily, my apartment has AC. But I am coming to you guys today um, to talk about transportation in Madrid. Um, so tune in and feel free to ask any questions you may have. Um, throughout this video, that's what I'm here for to answer them. Um, but yeah, I took some notes just to cover all the bases. Um, so uh, feel free and stop me if you have any questions or if you want to add any input and say hello. But let's get started. So um, one of the main reasons I actually chose Madrid to live abroad and teach English was because it's centrally located. Um, I love the location. It's super, super easy and convenient to travel uh, from Madrid. Um, so many of the ways you can travel in Madrid, um, I'll kick it off and start with the Madrid Metro. So Madrid has an awesome metro system here. It serves a population of over 5 million um, Madrid um, folks uh, throughout here. Hey Carol, thanks for tuning in today. Um, it's one of the most extensive and fastest growing metro networks in all of the world. Um, it's actually now the second largest um, metro system in Western Europe. Um, just uh, second only to, I believe, London's underground metro. Um, so the metro network itself consists of 238 stations. It has 12 lines plus four light metro lines that were recently added. Um, it runs every day from 6 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. Um, and there are several, several tickets and passes available for the metro, um, depending on what serves you best. So you can buy a single ticket that uh, costs around a euro fifty, uh, or around a euro fifty, two euros, depending on how many stops you need to make. Um, or you can buy a metro card pass, which actually bus pass, which actually works for the metro and the bus, and you can get up to ten journeys for I believe ten, uh, no, twelve euros and twenty cents. So that's a great ticket to purchase if you're just coming into the city you're not sure how often you're going to use the metro um, you can use it for um, 10 journeys so it's really great um, so uh, other than the metro which I use frequently um, it's super super easy to purchase your tickets uh, you can buy it in the metro station itself or you can actually buy um, it uh, in like one of the kiosks in the machines there. Super, super easy. Uh, if you're afraid about the language, you can actually translate it to English, so don't worry there. Um, so to stay within the normal zone, um, it costs uh, the normal, you can buy like a monthly pass, which is what I have, a card, and it's cost about 54 euros a month to have. If you are under, um, I believe it's under 26, yes, I think that's it, uh, you can get a monthly, the Obono card for 20 euros a month. So it's a heck of a deal and you can use it unlimited for that full month um, and then just reload month to month, which a lot of people do here. So yeah um let's see carol i saw that there was a law now in madrid that men can't spread out didn't know that was a problem laugh aloud um i have no idea about this law but i wouldn't ima i would imagine there's crazy laws all over that's hilarious um yeah i'm not i'm not familiar with that one um but what else another cool system of travel here is the bc madrid which is the bike system it's a public transport system available in madrid that's comprised of over 2,000 electric bicycles um, they're, they're really practical and ecological system that allows you to basically move from place to place, um, avoiding traffic and actually getting a little bit of exercise. There's 165 points around Madrid um, to pick up a bike, um, but you have to sign up first. Um, so you can just go to their website, www.bcmad.com, um, and you can pick up an annual subscription or a sporadic one based on how often you think you're going to use it. What's cool is their electric bikes. So they have a booster bike, uh, which actually helps you to pedal a lot easier. Um, again, the rates vary depending on which subscription you sign up for, um, but they, be, they begin between one euro to two euros an hour for the bicycles here. I'll leave an actual link to um, a, um, a blog that we had written about the BC Madrid bicycle system here to give you more information. Um, oh, on the Metro, yes, 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 yes. Um, I still don't know about that one, but I would imagine that is probably true. <laughs> um, 
So another method of travel here, which is often used as well, is the bus system. It's a great option if you're looking to travel around the city. They operate actually um, from 6 a.m. to 11.30 p.m., Monday through Friday, and is Saturday and Sunday from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. The bus routes and how often they run can be found actually at each bus stop. Um, the buses are in, in Madrid are actually the only public transport um, system available 24 hours. Um, so as I mentioned, the metro closes down at 1.30 in the morning. So you can actually catch a night bus, which they're called the Bujos, which means owl in Spanish. And they run from 11.45 p.m. till 6 a.m. Um, just a word of caution, if you do catch the night bus, which I have done before, be aware that because it's at night, they run infrequently, so you could be waiting anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes um, for the next bus to show up. So just be aware of that. Um, another method of transportation here that I love using is the train system, the Cercanias. Um, to get to Madrid's uh, suburbs and surrounding areas, you can either take the bus or the train. I recommend the Renfe Cercanias train. Um, it's a local train service here that runs from 5 to 6 a.m. to around midnight, and it offers frequent daily services to places such as Alcalá de Jiménez, El Escorial, and Aranjuez, all three places which I have been through the Cercanias, and it was super convenient, fast, easy, and um, really nice. Uh, very frequently you'll find a seat, it's air conditioned, it's really clean, I love it, very, very much so. Um, the main rail terminals are located in Atocha if you're in the south, or in San Martín if you're in the north. Um, it consists of nine lines and 98 stations. So that's the train system here in Madrid. Next, of course, we have taxis. Every major city has taxis, and you can't forget about them. They're super great to take, especially in those late evening, late nights adventures. Um, you can hail a taxi anywhere in the city pretty much um, if you just see a taxi with the green light on. And their fees are pretty, um, pretty affordable, in my opinion, depending on where you're from. Um, they're not too expensive. So. Outside of that, of course, we still have um, Uber and Lyft and all those rideshare companies, so you can download their app and you can use um, Uber or Lyft as well as a method of transportation. Sorry for the background noise. Um, and next you have, oh, I love this one, the high-speed railway, um, railroad um, railway called the Ave. And the Ave is basically um, a high-speed train that takes you, it cuts the journey in half. It's really, really fast. It can take you to Barcelona or Sevilla, for example, for two in just two and a half hours. So I love taking the Ave. It can be a little bit more expensive, but it's completely worth it if you're looking to just do a weekend trip to Barcelona, which I've done before, or just catch the Ave to go to Sevilla or a near uh, nearby city. So love the Ave as well. And then last but not least, of course, we have a major um, uh, airport here called the Madrid Bajadas Airport. It's Spain's busiest airport and is the main hub for the Iberia Airlines. Um, it serves as the main gateway to the Iberian Peninsula uh, uh, from Europe and America and the rest of the world. So it's uh, located in the city limits of Madrid. Um, but it's easy to get to by, again, the Cercanias or the Metro. Um, what, that was, again, one of the main things I love about living in Madrid is the, um, the airport here. It's super, super nice, convenient, easy to get to, and it flies pretty much everywhere, which I love. Um, just some tips, some apps to download if you're interested um, in just getting to know how to use the different um, methods of transportation here. I would recommend, again, the BC Madrid app if you're looking for the bicycle system. I would also recommend City Mapper. It's a great app to show you the different um, buses, the times, um, the train, all of them all included. Um, all those different methods into one, which is really, really cool. And then, of course, if you're looking just for the Metro, Metro de Madrid app is great. You can select the nearest Metro around you and then put in where you're going, and it can give you the best option based on the times. So those are a few of my tips um, as far as what to use, uh, as far as how to travel here 
um, within Madrid. Uh, like I mentioned, transportation is super, super easy, convenient, fairly affordable, and I absolutely love it. Um, aside from that, you will do a ton of walking. Get used to that. Um, that's just normal, I think, in Europe in general. Um, but yeah, I hope I helped out, um, gave you guys some more information about the transportation here in Madrid. I absolutely love it. If you have any other further questions or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment. Um, go ahead and like TT Madrid's videos for further videos to get more information. And um, like I mentioned, I'll go ahead and um, leave the link for the BC Madrid uh, blog post as well. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you next week. Bye.